Ethan, joining the show now, very excited to be John, uh, joined by John O'Hurley Jr., Jay Peterman. It's the Peterman Reality Tour coming to the Ethan Alou Show. John coming to the Ridgefield Playhouse doing his standard show. Welcome to the show, January John. January 26th. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. You'll It'll have be to, a lot of fun. First of all, I'm going to just apologize quickly for my morning show partner, who is just an avid, diehard Seinfeld fan. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, no apologies. Not okay. Very. You were in the caddy, the showerhead, the friars club, the bottle deposit, the foundation, the chicken roaster, the money, the Van Buren boys. Some of your episodes on Seinfeld are some of the greatest episodes of all time. Can you reflect back and and tell us what you what you miss maybe most about the experience of doing Seinfeld? Well, I miss the writing. I just have never found anything that's been anywhere near what that's like. It's just there was just such unusual writing, and because it wasn't about jokes. And there wasn't a joke in a Seinfeld script. And if you read a script from cover to cover, you go, this is the number one show on television and it's a comedy. It's not funny. (laughs) The scenes are funny. And if you play the scenes honestly and um, as deeply as you can, then the show becomes funny. Uh, But it, it took me a while to learn that. I kept looking for the jokes and there aren't any jokes. We, we all know that most of your scenes were with uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who played Elaine. But you, you did have some scenes with, uh, with Kramer, Michael Richards, and he f- was famous, what we all know now, many years later, for being upset with people for flubbing their lines. You know, is this true of Michael Richards? You hear these stories, I and mean, I've even seen videos of him be- getting upset with people messing up their lines. Oh, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't, didn't experience that. I mean, I kind of went in letter perfect, I did, because I had the Peterman monologues to memorize every week. <laughs> The uh, so uh, no, I never, I never, I never experienced Michael's wrath if he had it. I always thought of he was just one of the most enjoyable people to to talk because Michael was Michael's an artistic temperament. He's that Salvatore Dali who can imagine a clock dripping over the edge of a, of a precipice. There, you know, no matter how, what you think, he has another way of thinking about it. I find him fascinating to be around. And in the many years since you know, since Curb Your Enthusiasm and the success of that show, and all the fans. I, I, whenever I have a, a fan discussion about Seinfeld, people uh, tend to gravitate towards wondering about Larry David. You know, uh, that dialogue, that conversation always comes up. Is he, this is always the question that comes up, is he the kind of character that he portrays in Curb Your Enthusiasm that's always getting himself into troubling social situations? Is that the case? He's, he has hit Larry, Larry uh, has no social graces and makes no apologies for it. <laughs> wow. he's, he's like fingernails on a chalkboard. This is delightful but, news. I knew you were. But he is. No, he is. He just is naturally that way. He doesn't apologize for it. He makes no, makes no apologies for the way that he is. <laughs> uh, but he was the genius behind the show, I'd say. Uh, you know, um, the, the direction that he gave every scene was... Um, was profound. I mean, he really was. He was the, 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 that wonderful sense of comedy that would come in at the last second and uh, and, and save a scene or really embellish it some way. Uh, listen, this sounds like it's going to be a great show. I hope everybody can get out. The, the tickets are available at ridgefieldplayhouse.org or 203-438-5795. Correct. John O'Hurley, uh, Jay Peterman, Jacoba, uh, we, we love you. <laughs> Thank you for a few minutes of your time, and uh, we know it's going to be a great show. What a good joy to talk to you both. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Bye-bye.